That was freaking sick. Yeah, let's go! This place is insane. I'm checking off a bucket list once so dating by the time. Hey guys, welcome back to Garrett Stadium Travel. Today is stadium vlog number eight. I'm still in Detroit, Michigan. It is my second day of two here. Um, daily double today. I'm going to see the Detroit Lions a bit later, play the Miami Dolphins, some ballers on both sides of the ball. DeAndre Swift coming back from injury. Amon Ross St. Brown coming back from injury. Tyreek Hill coming back from injury. Jalen Waddle coming back from injury. Tua Tagovailoa coming back from injury. This game could have been a practice squad fest, but all the ballers are back. I'm so excited. It is a foggy day out today. I'm gonna walk the river walk, go downtown, get some coffee, stuff like that, and then head off to the game. It is uh, around 8.30 in the morning. I'm meeting my buddy, uh, Ryan, today for the game. Uh, hopefully, it's a great game. Hopefully we have some fun. Let's go. <laughs> Here in the 300 level of Ford Field, it is time for the stadium fact of the day. The stadium fact of the day today is all about cars. So as you can see, Ford Field is kind of built like a warehouse, and that was intentional. A old warehouse of a car company used to be here, and they kind of reconfigured it into the NFL stadium it is today. Parts of this stadium is now office space which is really cool. It incorporates the design of Detroit, the past of Detroit, obviously the automotive business. Super cool. As you can see, still an hour and a bit till game time. Gonna walk around a bit more, meet up with Ryan, and hopefully enjoy a great game. Let's go.
final here from Ford Field. The Dolphins won 31-27. Good game? Good game. So we are going to head out here. Uh, we got another vlog coming. Uh, the Detroit Pistons, stay tuned for that one. Great game, this place is awesome. Uh, I might be back, so uh, yeah, that's for the future. For now, uh, when I get back to the hotel, I'll tell you guys what I saw. Peace out for now. Hey guys, just got back from the Pistons game, uh, but this is the post-game rundown for the Lions game. Um, I'm doing the back-to-back -back here just because I didn't have time to do it uh, in between games, uh, but this is gonna be a long one, so I'm gonna try and do this as fast as possible. First, the stuff that I got. Uh, oh my goodness, guys, I went crazy again. I gotta stop spending my money on stadium merchandise. It's, it's, it's killing me. <laughs> but first, this koozie. Ford Field 20th anniversary. I didn't even know Ford Field was having his 20th anniversary until I got in the stadium and saw this and a couple of things, one of which is this pin. And we got one more pin here. That's a cool one, I like that. I need to get a pin board or something for all these pins that I'm collecting. Next, game day program. Um, Inside this, I'll put a picture of it. Uh, it's a Barry Sanders poster, which is super cool. He actually showed up to the game. There's a clip of that. Um, crowd went crazy. He's a legend. Uh, we got this popcorn bucket driven by Detroit with the schedule on it. That's super cool. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fit this in my bag, but if I do, that would be awesome. <laughs> um, the next few things we got here, I'm just gonna slide off camera here for a second. Or no, maybe, actually no. This was a free giveaway at the stadium. I'm not taking that out of the packaging. I'm just Lions Beanie. Uh, we have the Collector Cup. Little Caesars Arena didn't have Collector Cups, which was so unfortunate, but you know, what can you do, right? Finally, our seats were in the third down town. It was so, so awesome. It made the experience so much better, but we got to wave these things on third down and get super loud. Super awesome. Super cool, a little collectible with, you know, the teams and all that. So, uh, yeah, that's all the stuff I got. So, Ford Field. I thought it was really cool. I think the atmosphere for a team that's now one and six, really good, really good. I think Detroit is a great sports town. I've learned that over this past weekend. Um, it was cool. The indoor vibes, obviously, to stave off those cold Detroit winters. Can't blame them for having an indoor stadium. It was nice, climate controlled, pretty decent concourses, pretty wide, pretty nice. Um, one thing is they were running low at their concession stands. We went to get popcorn at halftime and they were out. So, um, that was uh, a negative. And they were out of pretzels too at the stand. Now, I don't know if the entire stadium was like that, but you know, especially during halftime when you only have a certain amount of time to get things and get food and drinks and washroom, you know, having stuff available so you don't have to wait in two 20 minute lines is, um, is definitely a good thing. Um, team store was sick. Team store was sick. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry. I forgot to mention one thing I bought at the Lions Team Store. I'll put a photo of it because I'm not going to bring it into screen. This jacket, this is a windbreaker rain jacket. This thing is freaking sick. It has all 30 teams. I'm going to start wearing it to all the other NFL stadiums I go to. So uh, yeah, this is a real versatile thing. Don't ask the price. It was way too expensive. But uh, yeah, uh, anyway, but back to the stadium. The tailgate was really cool outside at the Pride Plaza. Um, a bunch of different things you could do, 40 yard dash, zip lines, stuff like that. There are a couple shots of outside before I headed inside the stadium. Um, yeah, uh, lots of suites. Um, yeah, it, it was a super cool atmosphere. Um, 
speaking for myself, I had a really fun time. I think Ryan had a really fun time. It was first his first NFL game. So yeah, it, it, it was really fun. I, I recommend, you know, if you're in the Midwest or around there that you definitely catch a game at Detroit. Uh, of course, it's not part of the upper echelon of, you know, mega NFL stadiums now, but in terms of like a middle of the upper middle of the pack stadium, I think it is really nice. You know, it serves a great purpose for the city of Detroit. I think it checks all the boxes. Like it, it's just a really serviceable stadium. So in terms of a rating, I would say six and a half. I think six and a half. I think it's a really solid stadium. Maybe not good enough to go up to the seven and eight range, but you know, it's not a bad stadium by any means. It's uh yeah, really cool stadium. Uh, if you want to check it out, by all means, I, I think it's a good football experience. So yeah, uh, this is uh, ending off a super fun weekend. Um, check out the other Detroit vlogs. I had a really fun time this weekend and uh, yeah. So as always, I am checking off a bucket list one stadium at a time and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.